Grab your filter, and there you have it. Here we go. We got one really dirty air filter. Hello, Moto friends and Moto family members. This is MSG from MSG Vlogs, and we are back. Today, what we're looking at is my 2006 Honda Silverwing, and I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to remove the air filter. So stay tuned. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pop your seat open. You're gonna take your key, put it inside the lock on the other side, open up the seat lock, make sure that it stays up. Next, you'll notice the deck. We have the rear deck right here, or rear wing, spoiler if you'd like to call it that. You're gonna have four 12 millimeter socket head screws. One, two, three, four. You're going to want to remove them. Get this to log in. Yeah. You're going to want to remove those and place the wing aside. Next, you're going to move out to the side panel that covers the side part of the body just above the exhaust. You're going to see one Phillip head screw right here, and you're going to see another Phillip head screw right here. Remove these two screws and place them aside. Moving to the rear, just below the rear brake light, but above the license plate, up in the corner. You'll notice two Phillip screws right here. One here and the other one right here. Remove these two screws and set them aside. After you remove these two screws, this lower rear shield slides outwards. Yeah, as you can see, there's these slide tabs right here. So you just slide it out and down. Now, underneath this panel, there are two snap clips right here, a rubber clip right here, a rubber bushing with a, with a pin that goes in it, a plastic pin, and another one in the front. So you have to be careful. Plus there's some little lip um, plants right here, or actually like spaces where the clip, where a clip can go inside this plastic uh, boot that goes on the inside of the, the uh, the storage, the underseat storage. So I'll show you guys very fast how you remove this. Now be careful because this plastic is brittle and you don't want to break it. So here we go. One clip right here. They'll squeeze tight closer up, uh, close up. So you can understand what I'm talking about. And then we have these type of mushroom style uh, pins or guides that go into the, they're like plastic dowels that go inside uh, these rubber grommets right here. One here and one towards the front right here. Place this aside. Now we're getting to the air filter. I'm gonna do this, I want you guys to make sure you guys see everything. So next, starting in a clockwise fashion, we're gonna remove the uh, air box cover. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve screws to remove. I removed uh, several of them already, so this way uh, we can have this video a little shorter. I don't believe I add anything to the quality of the video by showing you uh, me removing every uh, last screw. So that one's probably out now. Next, we're gonna have to remove uh, this rear foot peg. Right here you have two eight millimeter sockets, uh, Allen key sockets or hex sockets. I've already loosened them up. Be careful here and make sure that you keep each one of these with its uh, respective holes because these screws are not the same. This one is threaded, uh, I say, two-thirds of the way. And this lower one is threaded about half the way. So make sure you keep them in their right places and place this aside. Next, we can remove the, the air box cover by removing all those screws and placing them aside. Place the cover aside, and here we have it. On the air filter, we have one Phillips screw. Remove the screw. I've already loosened it up a bit, save time. 
take the screw out, place it aside, grab your filter, and there you have it. We got one really dirty air filter that we need to replace. Why is my camera hunting? I don't know. You know what? I think I know why. Anyhow, people, that is the way you do it to reinstall it. You just uh, follow the steps and go backwards. Make sure that you uh, keep this gasket in place and make sure that it's well seated before you uh, put the new filter in. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, for all the people who are watching this for the first time and is interested in uh, some Honda Silverwing how-to videos, I have uh, several on my, my, my channel, so you guys could take a look at that if you'd like. Uh, again, if you guys have any special requests, go ahead. If I can do it, I'll more than likely make a video of it. If I can't, I'll let you guys know in the comment section below that I can't do it or I'm not able to do it or I don't feel comfortable doing it. I only like to do stuff that I feel comfortable doing. And again, uh, there was no special tools required to do this job, just a simple multi-piece uh, socket set screw, ratchet set screw, um, ratchet set excuse me and uh, that's it so once again guys I hope I helped you guys out with this video and uh, hope you guys machines are running beautifully again this is MSG from MSG blogs uh, happy riding uh, to all my moto friends and moto family members thanks for watching